What's up? Welcome back to Whitney Styles YouTube channel. In this video, I am showing you how to make your very own Carabana or festival or Halloween costume, whatever you want it to be. If you're into bedazzled bras and feather skirts and headpieces, this video is for you. In this video, I show you how to make a jewel thing bedazzled bra along with a headpiece, a matching skirt, and then two armbands. The clips at the very beginning of this video are from when I went to Toronto's Carabana Caribbean Theme Festival back in 2019. I looked up prices for Carabana themed outfits and they ranged from $160 to $900 US dollars. I don't know about y'all, but that's not how I like to spend my money. I would rather spend that money actually experiencing Toronto or any other destination. So DIY style, let's get started. I started out by making the most important piece of the outfit, which is the bra. I knew I wanted my top to be really colorful, so I picked out these gems based on both color and size. All of the materials I use are listed in the description box below, but these came from both local craft stores and Amazon. I prefer to use gems that have a flat bottom so that you can easily arrange them on your pieces, but then also glue them down and they'll actually stick. Some of the larger gems that I'm using have tiny holes at the top and that's so you can sew them onto garments. I am only going to use glue today. Those tiny holes serve a dual purpose because it also allows you to pin the gems into place as you decide how you want to decorate your bra. Today I'm using these Gem Tag Mini Precision Tip Tubes to glue my gems onto the bra. But before you do any type of gluing, make sure that you come up with a design that you love. I do like this glue because the nozzle is small enough to work with the very smallest of gems that I have today. As you can see here, it goes on white but it dries clear. It dries pretty fast but nothing too crazy so as you see here, I can still move around the gems if I place it in the wrong spot. I like all of my fashion related DIY craft projects to have some type of design element and focal point. The focal point is obviously the bra. But within the bra, we are also clustering together these oval shaped peacock design feathers to make almost like a floral print or a floral design. And then in between the cracks of those peacock shaped beads or gems, we're adding the silver teardrop shaped ones. If you are loyal to my channel, you probably remember the DIY floral bra video that I made probably four years ago now. I'll link it in the card above so that you can go check that one out too. But the point is, I always have these big picture ideas and my sister is really the person who works behind the scenes to bring them to life. So she is like the creative director, the quality control, the supervisor. She makes sure that I don't just spend a lot of time and energy doing something that's gonna look crazy in the end. To get the best possible design and use of space, I always start with the bigger pieces first. So in this case, I'm using the bigger gems first and then later I'll fill it in with the smaller gems that you saw earlier in the video. For that extra wow factor, I really wanted to make this look work on this bathing suit that you see here, but it was nearly impossible to do because of those elastic bands right underneath the bra area. They stretch, so in order for me to design this properly, I would have had to wear the bathing suit as I glued the gems on, which was doing too much. Off camera, I swapped out the white bathing suit for a black everyday push-up bra from Victoria's Secret. As you can probably imagine, based on the lint boss, I've gotten plenty of wear and use out of this bra, so I did not mind using it for this DIY project. I also started to add the circular, multi-color, multi-size gems. To do this, I am using this tool that came from Hobby Lobby. I got this by the crystal section, so wherever they sell crystals, they'll probably have this tool. It has two different sizes. The pink side is just a tad bit smaller, and then the green side is a little bit larger. So you determine which side you wanna use based on the size of the gem that you are actually picking up. So definitely use the green side, the wider side, for bigger beads or gems or jewels. Design-wise, I incorporated all of the colors and all three sizes because I wanted to add dimension to the bra. The only strategy we used here was to avoid putting two colors that were the exact same right next to each other. So we tried to rotate both the size and the color of the gems. I'm using the same gem tag glue that we used earlier in the video and that small nozzle is very helpful for just adding small little droplets of glue to put these smaller gems onto the top. My sister is very detail oriented so she got this process started but she didn't do it all. After she got about a third of the way done on the left side, she passed the wand to me. I guess I gotta do some work since I'm gonna be the person actually wearing this. So here I am trying to hold the camera, create a steady shot, give y'all detail shots, add glue, add the gems in place, move them up when they sliding around and make sure that they're exactly where they need to be. 
trying not to duplicate colors, trying to add various sizes to keep it interesting. Ooh, this is just too much. But seriously, this process of adding these smaller gems to fill in the bra took at least eight hours to do. I did not do it for eight hours straight. I did it for like two hours, took a break, came back, did another three hours. But I know it took bare minimum eight hours to do. I wanted a really full coverage look, so I tried to cover up a majority of the black fabric with the multi-size gems. And then this is just a reminder to also go as close to the underwire as possible. I mean, you can really do whatever you want on your bra. That's just my tip or recommendation if you want your outcome to be very similar to what mine was. Also, remember to give your gems time to dry. The next thing we are going to do is decorate the bra straps. One side of this bra does have a detachable strap, so we unhook that. Now we are going to use a multi-colored decorative trim. This is by Merchant 41. We start this process out by attaching a corner of the trim to the bra. So I'm using a hot glue gun for this and we are just going to add a tiny bead of glue and then attach a little piece of that trim to the backside of the bra. The next step is to loosely wrap the decorative trim around the bra strap. So that's what my sister is doing here. She is going to loosely wrap it around about three or four times. And then we are going to go back in with the hot glue gun and add another small bead of glue just to add some extra security so that when I put this on, the decorative trim is not sliding up and down my arm everywhere looking crazy. By this point, you probably already figured out what the next step is. We are just going to repeat this process. Repeat this process until you get to the very end of the bra strap and then do the exact same process on the other side. I guess I could have edited this out, but you know, majority of you all just skip through my videos anyway, so why not leave it in? Give you a couple extra minutes of details. If you are still here with us, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and dropping me a comment that says still here. You may as well hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. This is the finished bra strap once it's covered with a decorative trim from beginning to end. We use the hot glue gun to apply that same decorative trim around the underwire area of the bra. So this is just a detailed shot to show you how we are applying that. Speaking of details, I did go back in and add multi-colored, multi-sized gems in between the two cups as well, just to make it more detailed and more complete and more polished. And here is our process so far. The bra is done. I like to meet people from all over the world. So whenever I travel, I always encourage people to follow me on Instagram so that we can stay connected and you should too. Part two of this video is dedicated to the headpiece. To get started with this project, we are using this Falls Creek, just a simple plain white visor that I got from Meyer. I'm also going to use some fancy feathers that came from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna use some of those same peacock shaped gems that we used on the bra, but then we're also gonna use a couple more things. So we are going to use a new or a different type of decorative trim. This is pink and lime green. It's that same Merchant 41 brand that came from Hobby Lobby. So pretty. And then we're also gonna use a hot glue gun and some tweezers. But don't use the tweezers that you will use for your eyebrows. These tweezers are specifically for arts and crafts. The next thing I do is separate the feathers based on colors. I'm handpicking the colors I wanna use based on some ostrich feathers that I'm going to use on the skirt a little bit later, but then also based on what matches the beads that I used on my bra. For the headpiece, I want a layered effect that will show multiple different color feathers. So that's exactly what I start to do here. I use the hot glue gun, I add a row or a strip of hot glue, and then I gently place the feathers along that bead of hot glue. And then we use the tweezers to apply a little bit of pressure to ensure that the feathers are sticking to the visor. You don't wanna use your fingers with this because you will get burned. The glue is very hot and you don't wanna put that necessarily against your like bra skin or against your nails or anything like that because you could get burned or you know your nails could get stuck to the visor and we don't want that. Yellow is my least favorite color, so we did this in the very back. With the placement of the feathers, we are sticking them as close to the top of the visor as possible because we're going to go back in and add at least three more different color feathers. So this is our progress so far with just a single layer of yellow feathers. 
you also want to pay attention to the placement of the feathers you see how some of them are on an angle so some of them kind of go left some of them go right some of them are straight up so just pay attention to the placement if you care about that level of detail the next color we added is orange so some of those feathers we placed in between the yellow feathers there are not as many orange feathers as yellow feathers because the surface area was getting smaller as we go along so we just really tried to layer it so that the yellow is still showing through but then the orange is there as well the next color we added is pink pink is my favorite color so i definitely wanted that to show through above and beyond all the other colors Next, I'm gonna add some blue feathers in between the pink feathers. I'm adding blue because I also have some blue jewels in my bra and I want everything to flow really well and look really cohesive. This is enough volume for me for a headpiece because I don't want anything too big and too crazy that's going to smack a person in the face when I'm walking next to them at the carnival or the festival, whatever you wanna call it. So yeah, this is enough volume for me. And now we are going to move on and add some decorative trim here as well to make it look more polished and put together. We started this process by adding a small bead of hot glue on the back of the visor and then securing the trim that way. And now we are just going to add that decorative trim by gently stretching it across the front of the visor. We are going to do two layers of this. The first layer is to cover those little stems that are on the feathers to kind of smooth that out and make it look a little bit nicer or neater or more professional and not like we made it at home, even though we did. So we're using this lime green and pink decorative trim from Merchant 41. And then we added a second layer just to cover up the white. I don't have white anywhere else in my outfit, so we wanted to get rid of that white. And then we're going to add a third layer of decorative trim, but this time we're using the same trim that we used on the bra straps. It's all about cohesion. It's all about making it look like a complete outfit, a complete set. So the same materials that I use on the bra, I wanna incorporate into this hairpiece as much as possible. Here is a close-up detail shot just to give you a better idea of what that trim actually looks like. In this clip, you can also see that I added some more gems. Well, some, because there were no gems on there before. But I added the peacock looking gems. So the ones that look like a peacock and then in between those, I added blue and green. Just kind of pulling from the colors that are in those larger gems. And this is the finished product. So we are wrapping up part two of the video, which was the head piece. We are moving on to part three of the video. In part three, I'm going to show you how I made my skirt to go with the head piece and the bra. So if you wanna see how I made the skirt and then eventually the arm pieces, keep watching. The skirt, now this was the most interesting thing for us to make because this is where we had the least experience. Um, we didn't start from anything, like there was no bra, no visor, nothing to get us started. Literally started with an elastic band and a hot glue gun. So we took a strip of elastic and we measured my waist and that's what you see here. So this kind of circle, square, whatever the shape is, is basically about how big my waist is. So that's the starting point. Measure your waist with an elastic band and then use a hot glue gun to secure the band together. You can create a carabana look without ostrich feathers. So I am obsessed with these. I actually found these at a store called the Costume Room in Grand Rapids. This is the focal piece of the skirt. It was also the most expensive part of the project because these were between three and five dollars for each feather. I went into the store and handpicked these feathers because I had to make sure that they were similar in size, that I had the right quantity and the right color that I needed for my project. I would normally just order stuff like this online, but due to time constraints, I had to show up in person and do my shopping. I made this outfit like three days before I was scheduled to leave for Caravana, so yep, procrastination at its finest. I always design my pieces before I start gluing anything. So here I just laid out the feathers to determine how I want them to appear on my skirt. And now it's time to grab the hot glue gun. We are going to glue the stems of the feathers directly onto the elastic band. The spacing is somewhere between like one and three inches apart, just depending on how I want them to fall and actually look. During this part in the process, it's also helpful to use those tweezers to apply pressure just to secure the stems onto the elastic band. And then you also want to allow just a couple seconds or minutes if you have them for the stems to dry to the band because otherwise the feathers and the materials can kind of get stuck in the hot glue and you don't want that to happen. 
Once we have the feathers in place, I'm going back in with a row of hot glue and we are covering up the stems of the feathers with the elastic band. So I'm doing this so that when I put this on my waist, I'm not getting stuck in my skin or on my sides with a bunch of stems. So adding that elastic band just kind of as a layer of cushion and then also support and it will also make your skirt more sturdy to add another layer of elastic band. At some point you'll want to double check the placement of your feathers just to make sure that they are laying flat and that everything is what it should be. For this next part we are going to add another layer of the elastic band. So here you just see me cutting it, basically cutting it to size. As a starting point I add one little row of hot glue and then attach that elastic band, press it down to make sure it's secure. I go back in with the hot glue gun. I'm adding a row of hot glue in between each of the feathers and then just going to press down the elastic band to make sure that it dries properly and everything is secure and in place. Repeat that process until you get to the very end of the elastic band and because we added all of this hot glue, the elastic band is no longer stretchy, just FYI. We finish off the skirt by adding decorative trim. So as you can see, we use the hot pink and lime green decorative trim closer to the bottom of the skirt. And then at the very top of the skirt, we are going in with the same decorative trim that we used on the straps of the bra. We use the hot glue gun to apply both of these different types of trim onto the waistline of the skirt. The goal here is to cover up all the white and then tie in all of the material so that everything flows really well from the headpiece to the bra, to the skirt. We are almost done with the skirt. There is just one more step that I'm going to show you in the next video clip. So this is our near finished product. As you can see, the ostrich feathers are laying the way that I wanted them to lay. A majority of the white elastic band has been covered with decorative trim. Hot glue eventually dries and hardens, and that's exactly what happened when we made this skirt. So because we added so much glue, the waistband no longer stretches to fit along my waist. To resolve that issue, we just cut an opening on the back of the skirt and we use the decorative trim to make a bow tie closure. So now I can basically tie this up in a cute little bow and it looks like it's a part of the design. The tie closure is just an added part of the design. It makes it so that other people who are a little bit bigger than me or smaller than me can also wear the skirt and it's just an added level of detail. So it turned out really cute in my opinion. One of the last things I did was made armbands out of the white elastic band the fancy feathers, and the decorative trim that I used on other pieces of the outfit. These are completely optional. Everything in this video is completely optional, but I just added these because my outfit is not super over the top or extravagant the way that some caravan outfits are, so just wanted a few more small details to pull my outfit together. And this is what I came up with. You could also wear these on your legs or ankles. Just to recap, here is a detailed shot of all of the pieces that I made in this video. If you like this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and drop me some comments below. Comment below to let me know what your favorite part of the video was, if you've ever been to Caravana, or any recommendations for future DIY projects for me to create on my channel. In this case, sharing is caring, so if you love this bra, this outfit, or if you know anybody who's going to a festival, a carnival, a costume party where they could benefit from watching this, be sure to send it their way. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my other randomness or fashion, beauty, lifestyle content.